inhale and invite the breath of life to come in into your energy field into your mind into your body and as you exhale release surrender and let go of all that no longer serves your highest good thank you thank you thank you for being here welcome back to slay and shine spirituality, self-care, and empowerment. My name is Clement Lafredis. I am your host, and I am also a singing bowl sound therapy healer. I work with all kinds of different people as a life coach. Also, when it deals with your chakras, with when it deals with emotions, and healing the hurts and fears of the past that are creating a lot of the um, issues that are springing up in our life, whether it, in our relationships, with our families and friends and in our businesses and our money, healing those past traumas that are keeping us bound or creating roadblocks towards the dreams and the life that we want to create. Today, we are talking about examining our frequency, our vibration of which we are operating from. Are we creating a life from the frequency of fear? Are we, are we making decisions from fear? You know, it's easy to do that since the news, social media tends to get more ratings <laughs> when we are given lots of fear. Or are we making decisions and taking actions from a place of love and how to distinguish between the two and knowing that you can create more, you are more powerful, there is more life from our creation when it's created from the frequency of love. So we're talking about that today. But before we get into that, here's a little update on what's been going on in my life. It was my 46th birthday on Wednesday. On that day, I actually, I interviewed my personal life coach, my own healer and mentor. She's also a conscious relationship coach Candice Box. I've been attending Soul Healing School for three years and I graduate in a few months, getting another certification to my name. But beyond having certifications and beyond having labels, it's just been an amazing journey with her and her partner, Nakaila, who is actually first my healer um, and mentor before she introduced me to Healing School worked with them for three years now, um, actually over three years now, but the program is a three-year program to be certified in this healing modality. Um, the experience itself has been outstanding, life-changing, and the heart has been my biggest issue through the years. You know, triggers of, of betrayal, of abandonment, of... Um, uh, mostly that <laughs> betrayal and abandonment have been the hugest parts of my hurts in the past. And it affects the choices and the decisions that we make in our current life. No matter if it's no longer happening right now, we tend to, from the memory stored in our tissues, tend to make choices and decisions and take actions like those things were still happening today. Huh. So I interviewed her on my birthday. We have a great show coming up next week. Be on the lookout for that. We're talking about a book that we read together regarding relationships. So if you are in a relationship, it's a great show to, to keep an eye out for. Um, and then after it was Wednesday night was my birthday. And so we did a um, sound bath meditation in my private group called Slay and Shine on Facebook. If you are wanting midweek ah, release of tension, stress, and anxiety, please do join Slay and Shine, the private group on Facebook. I am there. And then on Friday night, 
me, or not Friday night, but on Friday, my sister and I met up and we went to the plant store. We made an appointment for the Seattle um, flower wholesaler or Seattle plant wholesaler. You need to make an appointment because they do reduce the amount of people coming into their store at the same time. And we went in the morning and I bought a bunch of more plants. I am still a beginner newbie at this indoor gardening thing. I am more of a outdoor gardener. I think when the pandemic started, I focused on the outside. I planted a labyrinth, a grass labyrinth lawn <laughs> for meditation. And we have all of our yummy vegetables and beautiful peonies. We have our healing tent. We have a fire pit. I focused on the meditation garden outside. And this year I just began creating my indoor garden. It's become a really popular thing. I love how it feels to wake up with all the plants and that, that chlorophyll vibration from the sun um, next to me when I wake up. It's all around my bed. It's in my, <laughs> my bedroom. And now I'll be spreading more into the rest of the house as the collection grows. But we did that first. And then we went to a vintage or a consignment shop and got this cute little outfit, new sweater, jacket, and blouse. I'm trying to be more mindful about my uh, consumerism, especially when it comes to textiles and clothing. It is the second biggest pollutant on the planet of Mother Earth is textiles and clothing. Most of the clothes are made out of polyester or not natural materials, and they will be living on this planet 200 more years past our own existence. Um, so a lot of, a lot of the islands, even I think Haiti is one of those islands where we send a lot of our garbage or a lot of our old clothes to, and they have miles and miles, mounds and mounds of our discarded clothing in, in their one little island. So it's crazy how our landfills, our precious land is being inundated by fast fashion, fashion that is highly consumed and then thrown away when that when that trend is over. So try to visit those consignment stores or Goodwills and secondhand stores as often as you can if you're looking to change up your, your wardrobe. I follow this woman on Instagram. It's very interesting. I think her name is Thrifty Nell. Thrifty Nell on Instagram and she takes the like the most I would not even imagine <laughs> ugliest clothing um, and she turns them into something amazing. She just knows how to pair things together and change up one blouse and make it into three different looks. Um, she'll turn a pant into a top or a top into a bottom. It's very interesting and it's fun to watch. Um, and she also does celebrity lookalikes, meaning she'll take an outfit that she saw on a celebrity and she'll try to recreate it from things that she finds from the thrift stores. It's really fun to watch. All right. And then after we did that, we went to a cute little boutique shop in Columbia City. Oh my gosh. Rainbow Renee check out her, well, check out my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, Slate and Shine, but you'll see this beautiful boutique shop in Columbia City in Seattle. And she creates soul chains. Look at mines. She sources and finds vintage chains, like this big dookie chain. <laughs> my, my husband was like, oh, you've got a big dookie gold chain. That's what we used to call it in the nineties, dookie chains because they're thick, big chains. And then she placed a beautiful, deep pink rose quartz crystal on the end of it. I was so attracted to it. My soul called out. And there were so many options. There was this smoky quartz I really wanted. I'm going to have to go back for that one. <laughs> it was a hefty, big one. It was huge. But um, 
she infuses them. She does uh, sound healing on them. She infuses them with energy and Akashic records and all that stuff on the chains and the crystals. And I chose rose quartz because, of course, again, healing my own heart chakra. And that's why I have Candice as my as my mentor and healer. She specializes in relationships and on that heart chakra. Uh, but it was a beautiful day. Me and my sister spent together. And I, of course, bought pizza and ice cream because I like to have my seven-year-old birthday party <laughs> even by myself. Um I haven't had pizza in so long and I craved it and I made sure that I saved that for my birthday and not, um, and not jump the gun and ate it too soon in the year. <laughs> All right. So today's topic, let's get to it. How to know if we are making decisions and choices and taking actions based on fear or is it from a place of of love and awareness. Example, um, I haven't left my house until Friday, this past Friday for my birthday. I haven't left my house since December 5th, not because I'm afraid of having something happen to me or, or contracting coronavirus or whatever. It's from a place of love. I take care of my aunt. She's 93 years old because of my love for her and her health and taking care of her well-being, but also because my own love for my own self and my own well-being. I love feeling energized, healthy, vibrant, not low level frequency, not in illness. And knowing from an awareness that the numbers are rising and it is flu season. So whenever it is cold outside, viruses live on surfaces and in the air a lot longer than when it is 75 degrees or more, where viruses can only live 30 minutes at a time when, when it's hot outside. So just knowing from a place of awareness, what is happening around us, what it's, what's going on, but not letting that news put us in a low frequency vibration of fear because whatever we create out of fear, like taking a job because you're afraid of um, not having enough to pay your bills or taking a job that you don't like because I have no other choices. It's my only, it's my only choice. I have no other opportunities where then we forget that we are multidimensional beings, that there is always a way, there's always another way, there's so many more and different ways that we can explore once we take the limits off from our third eye, from our vision, from our thinking, but coming from a place of allowing love, allowing ourselves to love our life, love our existence, love our health, love our well-being, love money even. And I know that sounds a little weird because we were taught that the love of money is the root of all evil, but looking at money is an energy, just like our health is an energy. What frequency is it vibrating at? Are you wanting money because you're afraid that you won't have enough? Or are you wanting money because you want to give and experience more joy, more love, and give more joy and love to others? It really depends on the vibration and the intention of our heart. The Bible talks about that too, is the intentions of our heart is what is examine. And from the issues, it says in Proverbs that um, mind or tend or be mindful of your heart because from it springs the issues of life. So whatever we're manifesting in this 3D world, in the material world, is from the frequency that we are vibrating in. And that's why it's a really great idea to sit and be quiet, meditate, ask your heart, 
communicate with yourself, communicate with your soul daily and ask, where is this coming from? Why do I want to take this job? Is it because I'm afraid that I won't have any other opportunities? I don't, you know, is it because I love this kind of work? It turns me on. I'm passionate about this kind of, 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 um, service that I get to put out into the world? Or is it because I'm afraid that I won't have enough money? Um, Am I friends with certain people because that's all I'm familiar familiar with and I'm afraid of making new friends, even though that relationship is toxic or doesn't feel good anymore or is pulling me down vibrationally, right? Am I holding on to things because I am feeling some kind of insecurity or fear of loss of it or because I want to love myself and I have to let them go so that I can make more space for better, for good in my life. Ah, yes, that is a topic today is really sitting and having that relationship with ourselves and, and remembering to check in what, frequency? What vibration is this on? Is it from lack, scarcity, fear of loss? Or is it from love, joy, passion, excitement? And make decisions from that choice. Now here's here's the kicker is that the same action Let's say you and another person are doing the same exact thing. You have maybe the same exact job. But one person is vibrating at a different frequency than the other. Same exact job, but one is in passion with that job. And the other one is in fear and lack vibration of that job, which then will affect your performance, will then affect how well you do the job, will affect your mental space around that job. I mean, will you do it with joy or are you doing out of begrudgingly um, your mental health around that job, right? So looking at it, it's the same exact thing, but from a different vibration. Even, um, let's say, even with the vaccination, are you taking the vaccination out of fear that something bad will happen and and um, bad things are happening in the world or out of love and care for yourself and the people that are around you? And from that space that you are taking action and doing life with, any decision in life with, is what manifests more into reality or this 3D dimensional, third dimensional material material world. (laughs) Sorry for the stutter, geez. (laughs) I hope that makes you think and helps you shift. You could be taking the same exact action, drinking water, you know, oh, I love my body. I love my life. I love being hydrated and full of energy. I feel better when my mind is hydrated and my skin is glowing um, when I'm hydrated or drinking water because oh, the doctor told me to, my liver's failing. I've, you know, this headache is getting me because now I'm dehydrated. So coming from a place of self-love, enjoy, enjoying being in the body, in your body, in your life, shifting into love, shifting into love and making those decisions, making all decisions from there. And if you are not able to make a decision from a place of love, just be still for a while, shift your energy. Don't make any decisions yet. Don't make a choice or decision, especially if you're in fear. Check in. Check in with your soul. Check in with your truth. 
and see, and maybe just maybe another option because we are multidimensional beings. There are so many, we are limited, unlimited, not limited. We are unlimited beings full of so many other possibilities, choices, and options that when we're still enough and we shift off the fear frequency and we're just in peace in the present moment, new ideas, new God ideas, new divine downloads begin to drop into our soul. New blessings and opportunities begin to show up out of nowhere. Check this out. I was in that consignment store and I was given this gift out of nowhere by this woman who designs cards, hand painted 78 tarot cards by hand and she sells them. Her name is Rebecca Bloom. The deck is called R-Text, R-T-E-X-T, R-Text Tarot Deck by Rebecca Bloom. And I started crying, crying so hard because, of course, again, rose quartz crystal, working on healing my heart, opening it wide to receive the love and the giving from Mother Earth, from my fellow citizens, <laughs> from my soul tribe, from God working on receiving because for so long my walls were up, my shield was up and I was crying when she gave this to me because my soul tugged at me. My soul was, was tapping on me, was nudging me saying, Hey, still got some work to do in receiving. You still got some work to do in allowing because my first, my first, first, first inclination was like, oh my gosh, what can I do for you? What can I give to you? How can I make this up to you? How can I make you happy? Like I was deflecting joy off me because it felt awkward to receive. I was reflect, I was deflecting, receiving the energy of receiving from me because I'm used to being the giver, not the receiver. <sighs> and I was bawling like, okay, I got some work to do. Let people in, let people give, let people love. And 78 cards that were meticulously designed and hand painted. She had a lot of love. She put in so much love into this deck. She said, think of me whenever you, you know, use the cards. My energy is in it because I infuse it with me. And it's like having a conversation with me. And I was like, whoa, after she said that, I started crying. Oh, I walked away first. <laughs> As I was leaving this door, I was crying. But yes, yes, it was a great, a great experience and reminder to heal those things in our life that are stopping us from being our best, from showing up as our best light and love on this planet. And and noticing, just noticing what frequency am I operating on today? Am I operating with openness, with peace, with love, joy, and passion? Or am I operating, making decisions out of scarcity, out of lack, out of fear? And whatever answer you get is the right answer. There is no right or wrong. It is just what is. And the awareness of it will help you ah, take progress, make progress, shift you onto another option, onto another trajectory in life, shift you onto a new frequency. Because once we're aware, we can change and shift and decide something different. All right. Blessings and bliss to you. Thanks for tuning into today's show. Be sure to come back next week for a Candace Box relationship, conscious relationship discussion on a book that we read together. 
But after these messages is a five minute meditation. Make sure you stay for that. And Wednesday nights, again, in the Slay and Shine private Slay and Shine private group on Facebook is sound bath meditation for 30 minutes. Great for those who have insomnia because it's at 8.30 at night Pacific Standard Time. And on Sunday, this coming Sunday is a new moon. And on that day, I have a two hour workshop at 11 a.m. We're doing a mind movie manifest workshop. So we're, you all you need is a movie editing program like iMovie on your iPhone or on your iPad or any um, other kind of movie making software that you might have on your computer. But we are making a mind movie, shifting our thoughts and beliefs that no longer serve us or no longer align to our visions and dreams for the life that we want to have right now and in the future and creating new vision using a mind movie. I learned this technique from Dr. Joe Dispenza when I went to um, this the week long um, the week long event that he had in Mexico years ago. It's a really powerful technique while you are in theta brainwaves to change and shift your thoughts. It's easier to change and shift our beliefs and thoughts when we are in theta, meaning that brain waves that we're in when right before we sleep, right when we wake up, <laughs> and also when we are in meditation, we are in theta brain waves. So stay tuned and please do join me for that workshop. It, it You can sign up for $27 on slayandshine.com. See you next week, everybody. Enjoy the meditation. Inhale, the breath of life. Inhale, love. Inhale, peace. And exhale, release, surrender. Let go of all the stuck energy that keep you bound. Inhale, invite the breath of life into every cell every molecule, every organ, every tissue of your body, but especially into those areas that need healing the most. And then exhale, release toxins, dark energy out of the body, out of the mind. One last big breath in. Fill yourself with love, joy, and passion. And as you exhale, release, let go the thoughts that do not serve your highest and best good. <sighs> Fill, replenish, restore. Love. Meditate on this. I am loving awareness. I am loving awareness. I am loving awareness. What is it that is in my heart? Examine. See into the areas of your heart. Go deeper within. Find the areas 
that may have hardened, grown dark, maybe even broken, shattered, or have cracked. Now with your breath, inhale and follow your breath in through your nose, back of your throat down into your heart and send loving, healing energy into the areas of your heart that may have grown dim See it now, glistening, full of light, healing areas of pain, sadness, betrayal, fear, abandonment. Feel it, love it. Don't judge it, let it be. And once you're ready to be honest with it, ask it what lessons, what growth. does it want to teach and give to you and receive what you need from this experience receive what you need from this awareness in your heart and allow it to set you free, breathe and allow yourself to show up greater, brighter, full of love in your life and in this planet, healed, healing and healed. Deep breath in. I am loving awareness. All things are happening for me, not to me. I am loving awareness. I allow people to be who they are. I allow myself to be who I am. Breathe, inhale. I am loving awareness. No labels, no judgment. I just am. I am love. I am light. And I am free. Ah, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Namaste, friends. Namaste. The love and God in me sees the love and God in you. Blessings for this new week. Healing to all those who need healing. Health for all the bodies out there that need health. Love for all those hearts that need love and restoration at this time. See you guys soon. Message me if you need me. Find me on Facebook, Slay and Shine private group, and also on Instagram, Slay and Shine.